know if you remember my video where I found a bracelet, a gold colored bracelet, and then I lost it. I actually was close to that picnic table that's buried by the high wind storm we had the other day. But yeah, it's beautiful here. I don't know if I'll find that bracelet seeing that. Well, well, my fucking find is a very modern shotgun shell. 10 gauge made in the USA. Wow. This is quite the scene right here. We have a river. Like a brown river of water. And then it goes on out to the bay. The bay usually is crystal clear, but it's kind of stirred up, I see. But what I'm amazed by is look at the invasion of mussel shells. This whole little thing I'm walking on is all mussel shells. I just tried to dig a hole here. <laughs> Ended up just being another shotgun shell. So. But yeah, invasion of mussel shells. Unbelievable. Oh, wow, I think I'm going to fall over. I finally found a coin. <laughs> a memorial let's see it's just a memorial but I'm glad to see it I've been following this pretty awesome trail there we go right there same quarter but did I did see aluminum too so I'm not sure it could just be a bottle cap let's see nice soft soil here very soft I like it makes it easy Mm, that tree did just make a cracking noise. Okay, no, I think I see something metal on the side here. Ooh, I just found an old knife. I surely did. Wasn't that cool? Looks like all the wood, all the wood is gone on it. And just the metal's there. Yeah, just the metal's left. It's pretty cool. I like finding old knives. Alrighty, on to the next. Well, I seem to have made it to the dead end of this trail. There's, I got mixed signals over here. I'm a little confused. Saying all kinds of stuff. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, I already see it. Okay, <laughs> another lovely bottle cap. Oh no, it's not even. It's a big screw cap for Pepsi. Kind of looks older though, doesn't it? <laughs> but then I got another signal. Down this somewhere, where was it now? Yeah, down in here. Let's see what we got. I must have got it out. Oh, this is shiny. Okay. Oh, someone's jewelry. Jewelry, some sort of jewelry. I don't know. Looks like there's a pen on it. Oh, I gotta get the lighting right here. Which way do I go? Right here, maybe. Okay, I see a pen. Pokey pin. Pin, I mean. Ooh, fancy. Some kind of brooch it looks like. Wow, that looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to clean this up. Let's see, I'm going to get my toothbrush out. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow. That is pretty darn cool. Get the stuff off the back, too. Alright, now we can take a better look at this thing. Wow, look at the detail. That looks kind of old, possibly. I'm not sure. Let's look at the pin part of it again. Um, I don't think that looks that old, though. I don't think so. I don't think it's old, but who knows. I don't see any markings on it. But wow, that's awesome. I really likey, likey that one. That's an awesome find. 
All right, now I'm gonna go that way, see what's over there. I'm walking through this thick woods here. <laughs> Look what I'm in. But I'm trying to get to the water. I'm like, in the woods. Down on the ground is what looks like a box. It really looks like a box. What is it? Feels empty. Darn it. Oh, it's empty. Holy crap. Look at that. Would that have been something, eh? Oh, it's an empty, empty ring box. Wow. A diamond store. Since 1924. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that would have been cool to find. Wow. That is something. I don't know if it washed up in the waves or what, because the water is just on the other side here. Pretty awesome, though. Well, well, I got through the woods. As you can see, there ain't <laughs> much here. Very small little tiny beach area. But I actually found a coin. Where'd it go? I think it's just going to be a modern one. Oh, I'm getting ready. Hopefully, we can't see anybody coming over here. Oh, it's actually a dime. Looks like it's been here for a while. Get a date off of it. I think it says 81. I'm almost sure that's an 81. Alrighty. See if I can walk along here a little bit. I don't know. It looks kind of, kind of like it ain't gonna work out for me. It's cool here though. Well, I actually worked my way to another little <laughs> beach area. Anyway, I got a signal over here that sounded really good. Look at all the mussel shells, eh? They're like everywhere. And it's still in there. I will admit, sometimes the detector and the pinpointer go off because of all the black sand here. Which is probably what it's doing right now. So I'll check up here. Oh, could be nothing. I don't know. I'm about ready to give up here. Is that a shell or is that something? Oh my gosh, that's something, definitely something. I don't believe how small this is. This thing is like super small. Oh, okay, this is um, possibly Canadian. That makes sense. Um, some of their older dimes are extremely small. Let me give this a blow. Or, I mean, let me just blow on it. I have to hang on to it. It might blow away. It's so tiny. I'm not kidding. It's super, super tiny. See what it looks like on the other side. <laughs> well, yeah, I got to figure out a way to clean this off without rubbing it too much. Um, I know there's water over there, but oh, we were, maybe we will be able to see this. Okay, good. Here we go. It is a... Hmm. Does that say five? I think it says five cents. Canada! 1911 looks like. And it's almost half the size of a dime, or American dime, 1911. So I don't know if this is silver or not. I'll have to look it up when I get home. But that's a sweet find. That is awesome. I had a heck of a time finding it, and I think it's because of the size. Well, this is the this is the end results of my little hunt out here. Out here, I'm sitting on the picnic table that's in the sand, buried <laughs> by the high waves totally ate it up. Anyway, you can see I did find a lot of junk. A lot of metal junk. Metal, metal. That silver looking thing fooled me. I really thought I had a coin and an odd piece of hanger of all things. I find 
shotgun shell casings, head stamps, whatever you want to call them, all the time, but I never found one that had this kind of bronzy, brassy, whatever, gold color. And this was a major, major teaser. Wow, I mean, it says Zales Diamond Store since 1924. Found it, well, I don't know if you've seen that part, but I found it just like that. It's actually a wooden little box. It's actually solid wood. Yeah, I did. I took it all apart. I looked under the little poopy thing and no, no ring. No, no, no diamond ring in there. What a bummer. Okay, I found this old knife. Which, um, I can't get it open, of course, and all the wood that was on it is um, has decayed over time. Then this little brooch here, which still, I don't know if it's old or not. I just don't know. out here I can't I can't find any thing that says it's gold gold plated nothing nothing at all not even where it was made so I don't know the five cent Canadian from 1911 how tiny that is smaller than our dime it's just amazing to me chocolate cherry says thanks a lot for coming along and watching happy hunting good luck out there bye bye